In Elementor, you can easily add a post carousel and design it the, exactly the way you want to. Just like this one over here. So this is a page made with Elementor and you see that this is a post carousel. Okay. And it got the arrows at the side and also dots at the bottom. And you can also use a mouse, mouse cursor to drag and scroll through the post. Okay. And you can also decide the number of posts that there will be within each block. Okay. So the main advantage of using a post carousel instead of like blocks of post that you can fit a lot of post within a small space. Okay. And if I click on this read more button, it will take me uh, to the actual blog post. Okay. So everything is dynamic over here. And let me show it to you that everything is dynamic uh, okay it will just it's not static okay it's dynamic and it will automatically pull the blog post uh, from your existing blocks okay so let's get started so let me show you how you can do that okay so i am going to add maybe for home appliances i'm going to add a uh, block over here okay maybe for latest reviews okay or latest reviews i'm going to add um at a, a, a post carousel like this over here so that I can show a lot more blog post okay lot more blog post than it can actually accommodate over here so let's get started okay firstly let me open this page up in Elementor and the thing is that uh, you'd need uh, to, in order to have a post carousel like this you need to have Elementor Pro so if you don't have Elementor Pro installed on your website, then I would recommend that you purchase it and install it on your website so that you get the, you can follow along and build a post carousel like this one with me. Okay. And not only this, Elementor Pro comes with a lot more advanced functionalities and with a lot more flexibilities, which you, which is a must have. Okay. So I'm providing the uh, link uh to for you to purchase elementor pro down in the description below so please uh go purchase it. and if you purchase using my link then i get a small commission and it uh, without any additional cost to you and it, what it does it helps to support my channel and inspires me to build more contents like this okay so let's get started okay over here let me open this page up in elementor Okay. Okay, it's opened up. Great. Okay. Okay, great, great. Okay, now uh now let's go to the back end of the website and go from templates which is by Elementor and then go to theme builder. Okay. Let's open this up in a new tab. Theme builder. Over here you see that we're going to build a post carousel like this one. Okay, now you go and go to loop item. Okay, then click over here. Okay, now you get uh, the option to build a block like this over here. Okay, now let me start at the first over here, then at this one. Okay. Then what you're going to do, you're going to uh, over here, you add the featured image first. Okay. If you don't want the featured image, simply don't add it. Okay. So it's going to pull up a blog post by default. And then what you need to do, you need to add the post title over here. Okay. Post title. So you see that it's very large. So I need maybe a smaller title, like just like this one. I think this should be fine. Maybe H4. Okay, great. I think this would be good. Okay, great. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to add 
this over here this text over here so this is called post excerpt okay so this will provide an idea what the post is about so you just drag and add this post excerpt over here okay now we need to add a button like this so that it links okay so that it links to the blog post so uh, what is going to do uh, maybe i will add a button over here and then uh, i'm going to say make the text say read more read more okay then over here for the link i'm going to add a dynamic text and this is going i'm going to choose the post url so that it will redirect to the post okay okay so design wise it's done okay great but you you see that it's not pulling in the i'll just publish it okay publish it and another thing which is important i forgot is that over here you see you need to adjust the title so that i can easily remember it so i'm going to say i'm going to wipe this out and i'm just going to make it say post carousel okay then i'll update it and i'll refresh the page so that okay great uh, another thing uh, it's a bit grayed out but don't worry uh, now let's let me adjust this the background color of this like you see there is light gray so i'm going to edit this and make it a background type i'm going to set a color maybe a light gray maybe f5 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 okay so that it's a bit different maybe i can add a bit of border border radius maybe 8 pixel border radius so that each of the card stands out and maybe i can add a bit of padding to each one maybe 15 pixels of padding so that there's adequate uh, space from the sides of the box okay great now it looks it's looking great and now let's first add okay another thing i'd like to add is that Mm, post info over here post info will say provide you information about um, the author date time etc okay so maybe uh, maybe the time i don't want to keep also comments i don't want to keep okay and i'd like the text to be a very small not that big okay it's too big maybe 12 pixels 12 is fine you see that it's looking fine okay Okay, maybe another thing is that let's go to the date thing. Date. Date format. Let's make it a bit more compact. See, so that it takes up less space. Okay. Okay, great. Now, uh, what are you going to do? We are going to uh, come over here. Firstly, I'm going to add. So this is the front page over here. Okay, now let me refresh it. Okay, I'll refresh it and then I'm going to type loop, loop carousel. You see the uh, loop grid and loop carousel. We're going to use this one loop carousel over here okay okay now what you need to do you need to choose the template remember we named the template we named the template as post carousel okay you see that it pops up over here post carousel okay great now it's a bit too big okay slides to display okay now it fixed uh, it's fixed okay great update it and now let's go to um, now let's go to settings and okay you see the scroll speed is on 5000 it's a bit too much for me so that let me add 2000 pixel 2000 milli milli seconds, which means two seconds okay 
I think that makes sense. Okay, great. Now let me go to the front end and just check it out. Okay, now you see that we get the slider, but the arrows don't stand out. So let's fix that arrows. And I'm going to fix this part. Okay, you see that this one is not appearing the post excerpt. I'm going to fix this part. So don't worry. Now let's we need just need to fix a bit more things. Okay, now for the now for the navigation, we need to make sure that the icons first let's change the color of the arrows okay icons maybe red okay say red now another thing is that i want the navigation arrows layout Okay, there is another option. Let me just say that offset side none. Number stuff for scale cell. navigation arrows show okay for the arrows let me just see check out the position okay let me pause it for a quick okay so uh, what you need to do okay you see that the arrows over here like it's on inside the post i don't like this so to fix it you need to click on this uh, loop carousel and then go to navigation and then make sure that the position of the arrows is outside okay so that these arrows are outside okay so that it's easier to click on them instead of clicking on the post okay now uh, what you need to do you say that this text is over here and it's not appearing so let's fix this go to the back end and then you go to settings and then writing uh no sorry not writing reading over here you see for each post in a feed include excerpt okay okay then let's go to over here and then refresh the page okay so now let's refresh this part over here this page over here the loop carousel that we were like loop loop item that you were editing okay now let's come over here now let's go to setting apply accept length okay okay you see that now it's appearing apply to post content now just set it to a number short number okay the 25 advanced after maybe i could say dot 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 so that it just continues okay so that it will show continue and i would like to make the text a lot smaller maybe the text size 14 i guess 12 no 13 is too small 14 is fine uh, line height i'd like to decrease the line height to one point two great so now let's update it and now let's check over here over here let's check it great now you see that this uh this one side is appearing and now another thing i'd like to do is that i'd like to let me refresh this
now I'm going to like uh, now I can delete this one I don't need this and I'd like to add I'd like this to have more blog post over here okay um, number of slides no I'd like to have it be 12 blog post okay so that there is a lot more uh, so now I you see that there is a lot more blog post over here I'll just update it now let me go to the front end of this website and check you see now there is a lot more blog post for people to scroll a lot more latest blog post okay you see you can also click on read more and go through the blog post okay and you can also adjust the distance between each one of them i'll go to this now over here then click over here go to style and gap between slides okay then update it then it's better to check the tablet and mobile version also so it looks fine on tablet and on mobile it also looks fine great okay so like okay looks fine so this is how you add a nice looking uh, post carousel carousel or slider in elementor wordpress so i hope that you have found this video useful and if you did then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you